going on y'all JT with a quick super speed Saturday so I'm gonna test this X s611 so what I'm gonna do is I want to see if adding the additional battery is gonna give it more milliamps or a longer runtime is gonna give it any difference in speed so I'll be doing it that can focus in a little bit two tests here the first test is gonna be on a single battery and then you guys know that this can run dual batteries as well so let me go ahead and I'm gonna get this set up I'm not gonna put the body on it because the GPS is actually um, pretty large so I say with the speed that we get I'd say add maybe about another half a mile to mile or so because this GPS for this small car is going to be a little heavy and it is going to catch a little wind on it so anyway let me go ahead and get this set up so we can uh, test this out real quick all right just so y'all know GPS is set you guys see it at 4.8 miles per hour and it's telling me to speed up <laughs> it's making fun of me so anyway let's see what we can get with this real quick we'll go one or two passes And come on back down. I can tell it's going a little bit slower with this additional weight on here. It's not too bad though. Let's see what we got real quick. On that. Uh, let's see. 23.5, so 24 miles per hour. We're gonna go back down and come back one more time. I don't wanna drain the battery too much. It is only a thousand milliamps, so. I did run it for a second earlier, so come on back down. Hopefully nobody will pull out and run me over, because this thing is small. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got a little bit faster than what we got before. I'm hoping we hit 24 at least, 24 on the dot. No, we still got 23.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook that additional battery up to see if we can get a couple more or at least another mile or two uh, miles per hour on this. All right, y'all, we're back. So I did forget the Velcro strap that comes with this to actually be able to run two batteries in parallel. So they do give you this connector as well, which is good so you can hook up two batteries. But basically, these stack on top of one another. There's a Velcro strap that they give and not the battery strap to run a single or this battery brace to run a single battery in here. But anyway, I still got this. The mailman's coming through on 23.5 miles per hour. And she, she drove close to me. She got all up on me, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I still got that at 23.5 miles per hour. So let's see if we can... Uh, get a little bit more speed and hopefully these light bulbs won't come out. Oh, it might help if I turn it on first, right? That always helps. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit faster than that. Come on back down. Make sure nobody coming because they will run me over. Now we did add more weight and stuff to this as well, so. come down one more time this is a safe parking lot run car at maximum speed so you gotta worry about running into nothing but it's handling the weight and stuff good so I'm actually gonna see I'm uh close to the hobby town you guys see there in Kennesaw I'm gonna see about a truck body or something for this because I definitely want to put a different body on it if I can so all right let's see if we got a little bit faster we got 23.5 and I said it's probably about 24 because of the extra weight that's on there but let's see if we got a little bit faster than that or not so yeah we did 24.5 so 25 so this thing will go about 25 maybe 26 miles per hour out the box with both batteries on here so that's good that's real good so anyway guys uh don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching